hi my creatives welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe like share our videos all right so today we're going to look at this t-shirt uh we're going to learn how to patch uh on t-shirts with ankara fabric let's get started <music> So this this is just the sample I showed you earlier. So now this is the new t-shirt that we're going to be working on. It's for a child. That's why it looks small. So you get your Ankara fabric and find where you want to place it. And me, I decided to place it there because that's the piece I had and that's where it was fitting. So just get your part, any, it could be anything any kind of fabric that you want to deal with so cut it out the way you want and according to the size that you want then go ahead and uh, trace it out on uh, stiff we call it stiff others call it uh, hard paper something like that um, so just trace it out and then yeah just align all the sides make sure it's equal just like I'm doing. Then after that, um, I'm going to reduce each side by, a f by an inch. So this is five inches as seen after measuring. Then I, I reduce it by an inch. Like I reduce the bottom side by an inch and I reduce the, let's say the vertical and the horizontal side by an inch. Remember, it's going, you're going to have to iron it on the inside, so, and then fold the fabric around it. Just wrap it around. You'll get to see why I'm doing this. So just reduce your measurements. If it's 16, mark the stiff fabric at 15. If the other side, on the other side, it's 5 inches on the width, make, uh, sorry, if it's 6 inches, make it 5 inches. Eventually, you're going to see why I'm doing that. And now, draw a line joining those points. Remember, we've reduced an inch on both sides from the actual size of the fabric that we're going to use as our patch. And then cut it out. Just as seen. You can use... Uh, this stiff fabric comes in different uh, qualities. There is the soft, there is the medium, and there is the hard. For this, I use the hard, but you can use any. Any of them can work as long as it can stick on. Uh, it can stick on 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 the fabric. Some call it is it I think gum paste something like that because it has gum. So the side here you can't see it, but the on the side that has the gum some tiny pieces that are like gum gum like is where you face uh is the is the side you place on the fabric you get the side that has the gum is the side you place uh on the fabric and place it on the wrong side of the fabric because remember the right side of the fabric has to remain on top and then use your flat iron to iron it as you see remember don't iron on the side that has the gum the side that has the gum is the one that should sit on the fabric the, the one that should face the fabric so that you iron on this other side then go around folding remember why we removed the the half inch that's why like just keep wrapping it around and folding and then also iron and the piece together and then also iron it on the right side just to make it stick very well if you don't have access to this um, stiff fabric it's okay you can do it without fabric without that stiff fabric though it just looks better with stiff fabric this is just an addition 
So here I'm, uh, we're going to get our t-shirt and I'm going to place it, like I said, I'm going to place it where it's going to sit. Remember when you're cutting out your, when you're cutting out the piece that you want to, to use, don't forget to add a seam allowance to it or folding allowance. Not really seam allowance, but folding allowance. So yeah. So that's what I'm, then you pin it on your t-shirt at the desired area. So mine, because it's going to be in the middle, yeah, I'm just pinning it all around to make sure it doesn't move out of place when I'm stitching. Because remember, it's a t-shirt, you're going to have to fold it in different ways to be able to get the stitch on. And remember when you're stitching, you're only stitching on the top part, like the front side of the t-shirt. Don't don't stitch on the back, otherwise you won't be able to put it on. So yes, um, that's the way it is, fully pinned. So here I'm just going to show you how I'm going to go around it. It's easier to start from the bottom. Um, yeah, and then keep going around. You're going to stitch from uh, where you see me pin, where, I've, where I have pinned is where you're going to stitch. Just go around and make sure your stitch, you use a straight stitch, make sure your stitch is close to the edge of the patchwork. Close to the edge so that it can be flipped over. Close to the edge. Though me, I tend to like to use a, a double stitch. I first go in close to the edge and then I take another one just slightly uh, like a quarter, a quarter away from that first stitch. I go in again and do another stitch. It's just that I was using a similar kind of thread which was also navy blue. So you can't really see it. You can't really see it clearly on the fabric. But that's what I did. So here I'm still going in on the first stitch. Go removing your pins and then stitching around, stitch around. You can't really see what I'm doing because the t-shirt is small and I have to keep folding it to be able to reach all the parts that I want to stitch. But like I said, you stitch the part where I pinned. Where you pin is where you stitch, stitch at the edge. Make sure it sits comfortably and it can be easily flipped over. Then for um, neater, neater, yeah, or a more professional look, you uh, also more security, you can do a second stitch around just slightly a quarter, uh, about a quarter an inch from the first stitch that you made go in again just the way i'm doing it go in again and yeah and take it around don't forget to back stitch guys you need to back stitch so that your stitches don't come out so yeah do another straight stitch go in again as i am doing yeah this was a very easy one so it depends on the design that you, you want to make yeah go ahead and do that also guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed remember i said uh, i'll be posting videos uh, for this period for these months i'll be posting videos only on wednesday i'm no longer posting on monday because uh, i'm overwhelmed with work at at um at the office so i can't really post Two videos a week for now but i'll resume that as soon as everything stabilizes but for now it's one video and that will be every wednesday so don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video um don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh don't forget to share our videos to all those who want to learn uh sewing tutorials sewing hacks uh, vlogs, DIYs, all sorts of things like that. Also, if you if you need to make an order with me, you can uh, DM me on Instagram at Nshuti Creations. Get to me on Instagram or TikTok, still Nshuti Creations. Yeah, 
and I'll be happy to serve you. All right, so just take a final, final, uh, what is it called? <laughs> just iron it to make sure everything is secure and uh, seated well. Yeah, so this is our final piece. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.